Hey folks, I'm Ari Henning and I'm in Austin, Texas for the MotoGP, but I've left the track and come here because KTM is hosting a dealer ride for the new 790 Duke. Now, I don't get to ride the bike, but I came out here to check it out. I wanted to show you guys so we could talk about some of the technical details and give you a preview of this motorcycle. It is a sporting naked bike. It's going to fit between the 690 and the 1290, so it kind of fills that middleweight category. And uh, yeah, it's pretty spicy looking and we might as well start at the front. As with most sport bikes, you've got a dual disc brake setup. So these are 300 millimeter rotors. You've got four piston radially mounted calipers, stainless steel brake lines, which are always nice to see. It's a 43 millimeter WP fork. Uh, so the same size as from the 690 and on the RC390. Uh, does not appear to have any adjustments on the fork caps. So you don't have any uh, preloader compression or rebound adjustability, but you do have adjustable uh, brake and clutch lever, which is always nice. You can tune the reach on these things to basically fit your grip so you're more comfortable with the bike. Tank capacity is 3.7 gallons, so pretty standard. And everything is getting bolted to a uh, traditional KTM tubular steel trellis frame. What's not traditional is this engine. It is a 799cc parallel twin. KTM, famous for their singles, famous for their V-twins, but they went with this package, but they did offset the crank pins similar to what Yamaha did with their FC07, similar to what Honda has done with the Africa Twin, um, so that the engine pulses are uneven. It's got an uneven firing order, it gives it more character, and KTM says this thing is supposed to feel like a V-Twin, so that is pretty cool. You'll notice this subframe here, it's aluminum. Uh, it's got this cool little opening, that's because the airbox is actually under the seat inside the subframe. There's an opening on both sides of the bike. And then the swing arm is similar to what we've seen on the RC390 and the Duke. 690 or the 690 Duke, it's kind of this extruded aluminum um, girder setup. It's very industrial, very cool looking. I know that this bike comes with an auto blip uh, and a quick shifter, which is super cool. If you look at the shifting linkage, there's a sensor here. So when you upshift or downshift, the ECU knows it can cut ignition. That means you can do full throttle clutchless upshifts as well as clutchless downshifts. It is a super cool technology straight from the racetrack. And if you haven't ever experienced it, it's a lot of fun. We've got a full color TFT dash, which is super rad. Getting pretty common on uh, higher end motorcycles. It's awesome because it's full color. It's like your cell phone screen. If you look over here on the left grip, you've got the switch cluster controls from what we've seen on the 1290 uh, Super Duke and the 1090 Super Adventure. And what that means is that you've got a lot of electronics. This bike has cornering ABS, it has trash control, it has wheelie control, and you can adjust all that stuff, turn all that stuff off. So between the TFT dash, the electronics package and that quick shifter and auto blip, the bike's got a lot of technology and it's all in a package that KTM says only weighs 383 pounds. And that engine is supposed to be making 105 horsepower and 65 foot-pounds of torque. So a very appealing motorcycle. I guess the last thing to do here is to start it up and hear it run. Yup. Sounds like a V-twin. So there you go. I don't get to ride this thing, but I got to look at it and play with it. And KTM says it will be in dealerships at the end of 2018 with a price point of somewhere between eight and $10,000. A very vague price, I know, but KTM is still working out the details. So I'm excited to ride it. And as soon as I do, you can be guaranteed that we'll have a video. So check back later.